everyone and welcome back. Today's video is about my Japanese straight perm touch-up. Sorry if the camera shakes. My cat is behind it and he's like sniffing it and stuff so it's only a matter of time until he hits it. So we'll see. But... Hey! Stop that. <laughs> stop. So... Yeah. Just want to give you like a little little um, peek in there. And yeah, there she is. This is my hair uncombed. I sleep with it in a bun and this satin scrunchie at the top of my head and I just take it down in the mornings. And this is what it looks like after I take it down uncombed. See, I could go outside just like this. Amazing. I have like a list of things I would like to go through and if anyone has any questions or wants me to talk about anything else regarding the straight perm or the straight perm touch-up, just let me know and I will. So, my first point, the cost. So, if you watched my first straight perm video, the cost of doing my whole head fresh, natural, all that was $330 with the purchase of the serum. <sighs> He's taking ornaments off the tree. Yeah, anyways, so $330 and that includes the purchase of the serum, which I think is $30. So yeah, or almost $30, but my touch-up cost was $200, which is much more affordable. Like, it still sounds like a lot for chemical process, but to be honest, $200 every like five or six months is very doable for me, at least. And then the time. So, the first time I got it done, it took about six hours. And this time it took about five hours so still a super long time if your hair is straighter than mine like if the texture is looser it might take you less time because um, from the time I sat in the chair to the time I stood up out of the chair to leave um, a lot of the time was spent um, detangling my hair like my roots and like getting small enough pieces to like get the treatment on so you know with type 4 hair even if it may not necessarily be that thick it looks thick and it behaves a lot like thick hair so um, I would say my hair is a pretty like medium density but when I was natural it looked and behaved like very thick hair so um, that's what took so long um, yeah so when I went, they always advise me to go um, on a weekday because it's like it's slower on weekdays for obvious reasons. People are at work, so I always go on a weekday. I say always, but I've only been twice. <laughs> but yeah, I always go on a weekday. And um, the day before, I told my coworkers I was like, "Hey," and I'm the only woman in the office, so I was like, "Hey guys, um, I have a hair appointment tomorrow." It's going to take all day, okay? So you can like call me and let me know what you need, but just know that I probably won't be able to do anything. It's going to take all day. <laughs> and you know, since they don't know what's going on, they're very lenient, I guess, about that stuff. So yeah. And so about my growth, I wanted to show you. I should have done like length checks, but I didn't. Sorry. But yeah. So actually, I think I do have, no, because I didn't measure it again. Anyways, just forget I said anything. So um, I did my touch up after five months. And in that five months, I got about two plus inches of growth. And um, I got a trim right before I did my straight perm touch up, like three weeks before. My mom trimmed a little bit off, so I don't exactly know how much she trimmed off. I don't think it was a lot, but 
<clears throat> yeah, I think I gained about two inches of growth. However, I will say that that's probably like the average or near the average because my hair grows at different rates throughout my head. So the front of my hair right here in the fringe area, this grows the slowest right here. And then here on my edges and like my crown, like this whole area, this grows like at an average rate, I think. And then like the very back of my head, like um, underneath right here, this hair grows the fastest, in my opinion, it grows the fastest. Just because I can um, see my new growth and whenever I stretch it out, it looks the longest. So my assumption is the back grows the fastest. Here grows like at a average medium rate and then the very front grows really slow. Which is why it's taking me so long to grow out this fringe that I cut in my hair almost three years ago. In February it will be three years and it's only right here. This is terrible. It's very slow. <laughs> so. And now for the actual process, um, a new person, <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> sorry. So a new person um, is working there, I think. I didn't notice her last time I was there or she wasn't working that day. But this girl did my straight perm this time. Um, so everyone that's certified to do the straight perm in the salon will touch your head at some point. But this girl, she's the one that actually applied like the solution onto my hair this time. And um, she did a really good job for the most part. <laughs> Like, um, she was really thorough with like getting it on my hair because it seemed like she had worked with Afro te textured hair before or she just, just used her knowledge to figure out how to make the straight perm work better for me. Um, because she did like super small sections, she was a lot slower with it not slow, but she was like very, um, what's that word? Meticulous? Yes, she was very like meticulous with it. But the only thing is that um, whenever she would like comb through my head right here, like the roots of my hair to detangle it with the solution in it so that it reaches every strand of my hair, she was raking through my hair really hard and it was like pretty much hurting my scalp because she was like trying to get in there like really good and it was just like scraping my scalp and it was so painful and I was just like Ugh. and um whenever my straight perm was finished I actually like felt through and like I had a couple of scabs like little tiny scabs from her combing my hair so hard and I know it wasn't from the solution because they don't put the solution on your scalp at all. Um, they just get like super, super close to your roots. So if you can see through here, but like there's no problem. Like my roots are still really flat. So, yeah, she still like got really close to my roots and stuff. But um, yeah, that's how I knew it was from her combing my hair and not from the straight perm chemicals. So yeah, but another good thing about her is that I feel like she got closer to my roots than they did last time. But I don't know, to be honest, it was fine because I honestly like my hair a little bit better a couple weeks after I get the perm, like two or three weeks because I've got like like a smidge of new growth and it kind of like makes it look less flat. <laughs> but yeah, still overall, it's good. Um, so I'm just gonna show you like the length and I'm gonna go through some footage and like, see 
if I can find like some fresh footage, like the footage of my hair when I first got it done in July. So you can see the comparison. So I'll just, I'll move over here. So yeah, this is the front. This is the thing. This is my hair from the front. So my bra strap is right here. This is the end of my bra strap here. And um, for now, my ultimate goal is waist length. My mid-year goal is um, mid-back. So I feel like I'm close. So this is my waist here. <clears throat> so I feel like I could probably reach waist by the end of the year maybe we'll see if I don't get any setbacks or breakage knock on wood so my final thoughts about the touch-up is that um, I can see a significant amount of growth so my hair is retaining length pretty well <clears throat> I think as I said in previous videos, um, I don't really see breakage like that. Like I'm sure there is a little bit because I feel like it's impossible to have like exactly zero breakage. So I feel like whatever breakage I do have, it's very minimal. Um, so yeah, retaining length very well, very minor breakage and um, it's just very flat in the beginning, which, you know, happens with relaxers. Just gotta wait a few weeks. But um, they did a very good job on it this time. They did last time too. No complaints other than the whole scabbing my scalp thing. <laughs> They're gone now, by the way. Um, I got my perm like um, a week and a half ago. So yeah. And yeah, there's still like lots of body in my hair, a decent amount of shine and all of that. It's holding up very well. Maintenance is still very easy for me. Very simple. Doing things is really fast, which is why I got it in the first place. I wanted things to be fast. So yeah, and that's about it. If you have any questions about my straight perm, the touch up, um, if you want any, some kind of tip, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Just let me know and I will reply to those. I probably won't do any more like Japanese straight perm touch up or process type videos anymore because I feel like from this point on it's gonna be the same <laughs> like you know when you first get it done and then the touch-up what else is there unless you just have like questions about something else so yeah or if you want link checks or something I don't know anyways bye